We're gonna hit China, Haley. That's where we're getting water from. Chinese friends in China. What's the best tool for the job? Take two. Hi, I'm Chad, and you're watching 9 to 5 to Life Off Grid. As you can see, my luck is starting to work already. As some of you may know, we've been trying to dig a well for quite some time now. I had a professional well driller come out and give me some pointers. He actually drove out to see if there's a possibility of getting his rig out here. And, like everyone else told us, Sorry, bud. You're just too far off the road for our rig. So it's all going to be up to us to get this well situated. I am going to drive the point through here, the one and a quarter, all the way to China. If I gotta hit China to get Chinese water, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna stop. I'm just gonna keep rocking and rolling. The only reason I was going 25 foot last time, all the other times, because the hand pumps, that's all they can draw is 25 foot. Everybody told me you can't go past 25 foot. Well, the water level is actually, it's up this pipe right now, it's only about eight foot down is where the ground water is. So if I drive a pipe down a hundred foot, but the, the water level's still up here eight foot down, that means I'm only drawing from eight foot down, not all the way to the end of it. I never thought of it that way. Yeah, so maybe I just need to keep driving till the end of the screen, the point is actually nice and in out of the clay. Wherever it gets out of the clay into some rocky stuff or some good sand that it could actually go through because this clay right here this clay right here is sticking to the screen smothering it so no water can go in it every single time no matter what i do so if i keep driving to china i'm sure they don't have clay there i mean i'm sure they have clay there but i'm sure between here and china there is some good stuff so these little screen areas right here. That clay sticks to this and doesn't allow water to go in through this filter system. I will not be defeated. We've got uh, two five foot sections on right now, plus a three foot point. So there's 13 foot right now. So I'm gonna go down, we'll be about three foot above the 10 foot pipe we put in there. And I should be able to hammer it down a little bit to get it started and then throw another section on. But I'm probably gonna have to elevate myself up in the air to uh, be able to hammer it once I put another section on. So we'll have to figure that out. Should be fun, let's do this.
Well, I'm gonna start driving her down. This is where it starts getting frustrating. It's where the work gets real hard and every time I've done it, after the first two times, every time I've done it, I've doubted myself every swing, every shovel load, every inch. But now, it's time to get it. for me. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Hold it. I'm sure glad these girls think this is fun stuff. Strangely, my wife had a terrible headache today. She's no dummy. Yeah, she's off grid.
Well, we got our 6-1 getting hammered in right now. How They're... many more do we have to go? Well, we used all the new ones that we bought. So we have 6 30 foot plus the 3 foot point. That's 33 foot down. Once this one's all the way down. So next we're going to have to go dig or jack up some of our old pipe that's still on the ground that didn't work. And reuse those pipes and couplings to keep driving on this well until we hit China. Do you think we'll get water? You're right. We're not going to hit China. We're going to hit China, Haley. That's where we're getting water from. Chinese friends in China. They don't charge us. Maybe one more until I fall on my head. All right, now twist the handle. This is one of the wells we tried driving a while back in our garden. We're going to go ahead and reuse the pipe. Well, if that slips off there, that handle's going to come down and pop you in the face. So it's the next day, I just put another five foot section on, all the way at the top of that, that's 40 foot plus a three foot point. So it's 40 foot once I get that down. If we don't get water or good soil by then, we'll keep adding it on and adding it on until we get it. Yeah, he's eyeballing our vegetables. Okay, it's time for a better pounding solution. We'll make a trip to my workplace and build that solution today.
Oh yeah. This little contraption will allow us to force air down the pipe to push the water down the pipe as well to flush out the point. It just busted right on off there. That's where the weld was. Take two. Luckily, we hammered the drive coupling enough that it mushroomed the top, allowing us to use a standard bit for the hammer. This is the point section that was that we drove in the garden. It was filled up with clay. We took it apart to reuse the stuff, and this is what goes on in the inside. That's why you don't get any water up, even if you're in water. All right, another five foot section. Once this is all the way down, it'll be 50 foot down. All right, so we got the 50 foot section all the way down. We went ahead and put some air pressure to it to make sure the point doesn't get clogged up. This will be 55 foot. What the song says, I can't drive 55.
It seems whenever I get too excited, something breaks. Yep, the top of the pipe broke. Luckily, we were able to just unscrew it and screw another one in. So let's get this bad boy plumbed in. That knife is sharp. After priming and priming for some time, I decided to pull the pump back off and attach my pressure tool, only to find out that the pipe is broke off eight foot down. We are now 60 foot down and not sure if we made it to good sand yet to be able to draw up good water. I decided to once again walk away from this project for a bit. Soon we will dig down and remove the busted pipe and replace it with new pipe. So stay tuned for that, and if you made it this far in the video, you must really like our channel, and I bet you're curious about our cabin build and everything that's going on around here. Well, stay tuned. We're going to do an update video and let you know what's happening. We appreciate you. Thanks for watching. 9 to 5 to life, off-grid.